humor has been uh, a part of your uh, uh, teaching style so what do you think how important is putting humor while teaching someone uh, if you have the natural humor in yourself so what do you think how important is it to teach to a class where different types of students are there right so you have to do everything you can to make your lecture uh, to hold your audience attention humor is just one of the tools it's not going to do everything for you but it is going to keep them interested uh, and if it comes at the right time secondly uh, you want to give a sense of suspense when you give a lecture because every law in the end that i describe explains a lot of stuff so i would first not give the law i would first describe what's going on so let's try to figure out what can be the underlying principle of the underlying law then at the end as a climax you announce the law say this is the law that explains everything for example there's a second law of thermodynamics that says something called entropy will always increase but you don't start with that you say look here are certain things that can happen but don't happen you take a glass and you drop it on the floor it smashes to pieces or you take a movie of that and you play the movie backwards then all the pieces will join together become the glass and come up to your hand that movie does not violate any laws of physics everything you see in that movie is allowed and yet it doesn't happen or if you take a bottle of perfume you open the cap perfume leaks and eventually can spill it all over the room you make a movie of those perfume molecules and you play it backwards you will find the perfume will get back in the bottle but that can happen but it doesn't happen so there's a lot of things that can happen but don't happen so you list all of them and you say do you want to make each one of them into a separate law do you want to say law number 1 once the perfume gets out it won't go back in law number 2 once you drop the glass in a break piece of it won't join or is there one single law single law that will cover all the situations and using one principle tell you what's allowed and what's not allowed you say that's the law of entropy then you explain the law and they explain how it forbids the forbidden once in every instance 